Of these half reactions, determine the strongest oxidizing agent and the weakest oxidizing agent, the weakest reducing agent, and the strongest reducing agent. Here's a summary on reducing and oxidizing agents. A reducing agent is a substance which gets oxidized and is associated with a, a smaller half reaction potential. An oxidizing agent, on the other hand, is something that gets reduced and it's associated with a larger half reaction potential. So which one of these is the strongest oxidizing agent? Iodine solid is the strongest oxidizing agent because it is most likely to get reduced among these three half reactions. It has the most positive half reaction potential. The weakest oxidizing agent is magnesium ion. Magnesium metal is more likely to be oxidized than magnesium ion is to be reduced. So therefore, it is more spontaneous for magnesium metal to be oxidized. The weakest reducing agent is iodide. Reducing agents get oxidized. Because the iodine-iodide half reaction is associated with the most positive half reaction potential, oxidizing iodide, I minus, is non-spontaneous. Therefore, it is the weakest reducing agent. The strongest reducing agent, the one that is most likely to get oxidized, is magnesium solid. Will iodide solid oxidize magnesium solid to magnesium ion? Yes, in general when comparing two standard reduction potentials, E0 values, for reduction half reaction, the half reaction associated with the more positive E0 will be reduced and will cause another substance to be oxidized. Therefore, in this case, the iodine-iodide half reaction will be reduced and cause the magnesium to undergo oxidation. We could substitute the half reaction potentials into the equation E cell equals E cathode minus E anode and determine that the E cell is highly positive. This is very spontaneous. Which species can be reduced by the cadmium ion cadmium half reaction? Spontaneous reactions occur for half reactions with more positive voltages. Spontaneous oxidation occurs for half reactions with more negative voltages. Due to the highly negative E0 associated with the magnesium ion magnesium reduction, it would rather be oxidized and not reduced. So we rule out that the magnesium ion would be reduced because we're looking for something that can be reduced by the cadmium ion cadmium solid half reaction. So therefore it's the iodine iodide half reaction that will be reduced by the cadmium half reaction. We could also substitute the half reaction potentials into the E cell equation and determine that in fact the uh, cell potential is positive 0.938. Again this value is highly spontaneous. Here's a similar set of questions. The strongest oxidizing agent is going to be iodine solid. It's the most likely to get reduced because of its positive reduction potential of 0.535. The weakest oxidizing agent is the iron 2 plus ion. Since iron is most likely to be oxidized to iron 2 plus, the iron 2 plus ion is not a good oxidizing agent because it will not be reduced. The weakest reducing agent is iodide ion. Because iodine solid is the most likely to be reduced, the reverse reaction is highly non-spontaneous. The iodide ion is the weakest reducing agent among these three. And the strongest reducing agent is iron solid because it is the most likely to be oxidized. Will the iodine iodide half reaction reduce iron 2 plus to iron solid? The answer is no. In general, when comparing two E values for reduction half reactions, again, the half reaction associated with the more negative E value will be oxidized and will cause another substance to be reduced. Therefore, in this case, the E0 for the iodine iodide is more positive than the iron half reaction and it will not be oxidized and it will not cause the iron ion to undergo reduction to form iron solid. After substituting these values into the E cell equation, in this case we're proposing the cathode to be the iron-iron solid half reaction and the anode where oxidation would occur, the uh, iodine-iodide half reaction. And we determine the E cell to be a negative 0.975, highly non-spontaneous. Which species can be reduced by the tin 2 plus tin solid half reaction? Spontaneous reduction 
occurs for half reactions with more positive voltages and spontaneous oxidation occurs for half reactions with more negative voltages. Due to the highly negative E0 associated with the iron ion iron solid reduction, this reaction would rather be oxidized and not reduced. On the other hand, the iodine iodide half reaction will be reduced easily by the tin 2 plus tin half reaction. We could substitute the E0 potentials. Here we're proposing the cathode be the iodine iodide half reaction and the anode be the tin half reaction.